Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. R here. I know we've all been stuck in our house, so it's been challenging to come up with activities that'll work on our goals, huh? Well today, because we don't have access to all the fun sorters that we do in the classroom, we're gonna do a sorting activity that we can do at home without anything special. And you know what, this activity is really going to help out the grown-ups in your house also. We are going to sort silverware. And we're not gonna do color because my silverware is all the same color. Maybe you have some colorful stuff at home. But we are going to do shape and some size. Our lesson just has to wait until the cat it's off my lap because we all know that when a cat sits on your lap you must give it attention before anything else because they are very needy friends <laughs> see she she had to turn around I don't think she liked the camera in her face this is my cat Daisy there she is. Say hello, Daisy. Now let's get on to sorting silverware. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. Yes, I washed my hands after handling my cat. So today we're going to sort silverware. This is going to be very helpful to the grown-ups in your family. And it's helpful to my son because this is his job this week. So first, oh my goodness, we have extra big utensils. These have a special drawer in my house. It's right down here. So they're going to go in that drawer. Okay, there's not a whole lot of silverware because apparently he didn't wait for the dishwasher to get full. But this is what we have. So the cool thing about silverware is it's all different shapes. So this one is a butter knife. And I have a spot in my drawer just for butter knives. And this is a spoon. And I have a drawer in my spot for spoons. A spot in my drawer for spoons. What else do we have in here? We have all kinds of fun stuff in here. So I'm just gonna grab a handful and see what we end up with. Oh, I have a spoon. Oh, look, I have a fork and it has its own drawer. More spoons. Another butter knife. Oh my, there's a straw in there, a plastic straw. So that's gonna go right there. And no, we don't want the cat to eat the silverware. We don't want cat fur all over it either, but he's a stinker. That one's Figgy. All right, I have a spot for plastic silverware and more plastic silverware because sometimes we like to use that and once we use it a couple times, it starts to melt, so we throw it away. Okay, but I've got more spoons and spoons. Oh, I bet you can find lots of sorting in your silverware. So I've sorted all of my shapes. I've sorted my butter knives, my forks, and my spoons. But do you know what I notice? I notice that my spoons are different sizes. So, oh my goodness, I can sort my spoons by sizes. I have really large spoons. I have kind of medium sized spoons and then I have small spoons. So you could sort by size and I'm noticing that there's small spoons where the large spoons are supposed to be. There's all different sizes. So sorting your silverware is one thing you could do. You could also, if your silverware is like mine, you can also sort it by what the handles look like. So I have this one that has like a flowery handle. This one has kind of a straight with a swirly design. So I could sort it that way as well. So I'd like to see you guys do some sorting and help your grown-ups out by maybe putting away the silverware. If anyone does it, please comment on our class dojo and show a picture. That'd be awesome. I'll see you guys later. Bye.